Hey, good night, good night. So, I wanted to make a video about um, cryptocurrencies. Uh, this is not financial advice. This is me just talking about what I've learned in my short time in the cryptocurrency market. Uh, often I talk about the the, the horrors of the 2017-2018 um, bloodbath and how that really affected the way I do investments, uh, whether it be in traditional markets, stocks and bonds, uh, silver, um, and of course cryptocurrency. Um, the way, uh, what I learned especially in that, during that time, is that the way that I make money now of cryptocurrencies in terms of if it's a HODL strategy is I only focus on a subset. Now, this is something that is not new. Uh, some people only trade one commodity. They only trade one sector. They only trade one market at a certain period of time during the day. They only trade one currency pair. You know, like they know these things in and out and they know its moves. They know what it does. They can time it like clockwork to a certain extent. Sometimes they're wrong, but for the most part, they've studied their, this subject for so long or the subject or their particular subject matter for so long that they know what they're doing. So I looked at cryptocurrencies and I was getting into all types of uh, altcoins or shit coins. Uh, this is what they were phrased later on or actually during the time too. And I was making quite a bit of money in terms of just the uh, valuation of like, okay, I bought this coin, HODL, take a little piece of this and you know, go and buy this coin or something like that or put new money into it. New money is basically what I was doing. Um, I didn't really learn, you know, they, okay, take the house's money and start, or taking profits and things like that, getting your initial investment out. I was like, no, keep it all in the market. Dick in the dirt. Let's go. And what I learned is what I'm showing you here. It's really, I'm on coingecko.com, as you can see. And really, within the first 10 coins, uh, well, Seller Lumens is sometimes out. Cardano I, at one point was way down there in uh, top 15 or so category or territory. And really, you can trade about or trade, not trade, but you can hodl three coins and make quite a bit of money off of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm hoping with the YOLO move that I've made, I'm hoping for a nice pump with Ethereum. I'm hoping that can actually, two coins can get me out of my debt. Like I'm really... That's how much I think of Ethereum, uh, how well I think Ethereum is going to do um, and by the end of this year. Uh, and, and since I've bought into the speculation of Ethereum, and even if it doesn't, maybe in five years or so, um, my debt is a minuscule. I've showed you a minuscule. I've showed you guys before. It's about fifty thousand dollars or so. Um, most of that is, or part of that is, my truck. And then, of course, now it's actually inc actually it's about thirty seven thousand dollars. Yeah, thirty-seven thousand dollars. I will be taking a um, a settlement on one of my credit cards. Um, I will be doing that because I just, you know, if I can get out for a little bit cheap, take the credit hit. I don't need to buy anything else. I got a house, and if I'm making more money and making, I'm focusing more on my, my investments. Um, having that staying on my credit is not going to be a big deal for me. So um, that's how I'm looking at it. It's not always the best, of course. Um, Go ahead, pay back your debts, whatever. Um, so, if anything, uh, the the only coins that I really trade right now that I actually hot or hold uh, is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Stellar. Uh, most of my money is in uh, Ethereum. I have about twelve hundred or so in terms of market valuation in Cardano, probably like nineteen hundred coins. In Bitcoin, I probably have like four hundred dollars in Bitcoin. Like, I I go in and out of that. Like, I don't care about the, like, it, it's just, I, I'm not beholden to Bitcoin as an asset per se. Um, I'm, I've made peace with like, okay, it's gone. I'll keep something in it to hedge my uh, bets, if you will. But um, I'll look for my, my, uh, my moon shot uh, in another coin. Cardano, uh, I sold out of that right before it pumped, right before its current pump. That sucked. But, you know, I like Cardano as a project. That is definitely something I want to build a bigger position in. Um, definitely, that's like, you know, hey, extra money going to Cardano. 
um, Ethereum. Uh, I definitely think it's going to do very well in the next in the next year, two years. Um, I definitely think what it's actually trying to do in terms of with staking and being a platform for uh, contract for smart contracts and being a platform for other coins to actually build. Um, you know, on-chain ecosystems. Like, I mean, it's been doing its thing for a long period of time. And you know, one of the founders of, uh, or one of the founders of Ethereum, uh, is the founder or one of the founders of Cardano as well. And essentially, with Cardano, it's taking more of a financial approach and atomic swaps approach. Really, um, Cardano is looking to replace the Swift, is the way I see it, and what they're doing in banking. And they do quite a bit in the uh, Caribbean. I think they've done think not sorry. I think they've done quite a bit with the uh, Trinidadian government or Trinidadian banking system as well, but they're working closely with financial, uh, different financial systems, systems to try and see how how Cardano or how cryptocurrencies will work in these um, in the in the wild, if you will, and uh, work in terms of like working with markets and working with banking and such. Uh, but then Stellar Lumens as well. I mean, they're trying to bank the unbanked. They're trying to do things uh, in terms of like getting um, places in remote places in different countries, uh, different continents, and trying to get them to get online with banking. There are quite a few people that do not have any type of banking whatsoever. They deal with, you know, um, their money in a mattress. So you have all these coins. They have all these different um, things that they're into. Those are the coins I'm in. I don't look at any. Other, I don't really look at any other coins. I was in XRP. I get back in it when it gets listed on Coinbase again, to where you can actually trade in and out of it. Um, I'm not sure if it has. Last time I checked, it doesn't, or you can't do anything with it. I'm not into Polkadot. I'm not into Binance Coin. Tether definitely not. Would even touch that with a freaking ten foot digital pole. Um, Dogecoin. I mean, we know what it is. Not just a meme coin, but it's a great. It has so many different pairs on so many different exchanges that, you know, it's not something that you really hold. That's not where I see the value um, in that. Monero, I think that's a good coin. I think that's a coin that actually will do well, uh, or it actually does do well in terms of like, you know, in terms of like an anonymity coin. Um, I haven't heard much about it in recent uh, months, and I haven't really looked into it as well. But um, just going off of what I remember when I was trading different coins in and out, um, Monero is definitely one that I really liked in terms of what it would offer. But honestly, I mean, I was, I was even into Tron. I was into EOS, IOTA. I mean, I was into all these different coins. But now what I've done and really what I've done is, um, for instance, Ethereum. It did very well in the beginning of 2020. Uh, or sorry, from the beginning of 2020 up until now. Um, I, I got a $200 a coin. You know, I was like, hey, listen, you know, we're going, it was a bit of a yellow move back then too, but it wasn't as big as my current yellow move. Um, but um, I, I got five coins and at $200 a coin and it's done very well for me. Um, again, use that money to fund down payment and fund buying all types of crap for my house. Like, you know, like these coins, I don't hold these, uh, they're, they're not a religion to me. They're not a deity to me. They're not something that is... Um, uh, I have to have and if I lose it oh my god now I am trying to do quite a bit with it there are short-term goals that I'm trying to actually achieve with these cryptocurrencies because of the volatility in the market actually just the the volatility to the upside and also I'm trying to do things as you heard in that conversation with dollar will hopefully I can find a way to start trading options or trading in and out of these currencies on a regular basis as some way to make a little bit more money so I mean the point is Within these top 10 coins, 15 coins, if you want to go that far, ooh, that is weird. 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. Oof, that, that threw me for a loop there. But, um, I mean, within these, these coins, you can find a lot in terms of uh, volatility to the upside, in terms of just buying it and holding it. You know, um, I wouldn't do that with Dogecoin, <laughs> me personally. But uh, something like... Ethereum, uh, Cardano, I'm sorry, Ethereum, Cardano, I think Cardano is probably one of the coins, um, along with Ethereum, so like, for me, they're head to head, but those are the chains that have the most value to me, in terms of like, um, the future of decentralized finance, the future of, um, 
cross-border payment systems, uh, you know, something that will replace the SWIFT over time or that will be modeled or like these coins are the archetype, they're the test bed for all of these different new, these different systems that may be coming online in the future. And these are the coins that I think governments, IMF or governments, institutions and um, uh, monetary governing bodies, uh, IMF, uh, Davos and things like uh, like or the World Economic Forum in Davos, um, these people are looking at these coins as archetypes of the new banking system, the new um, online banking system. People always talk about, okay, hey, what if the power goes out? Well, okay, if the power goes out in Texas, did it go out into your house? No, power's not going to go out everywhere. If we have a worldwide blackout, we got other problems. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about the power going out. I mean, if you are worried about the power going out, I mean, in that case, make sure you take your money out every day and um, have something in a mattress. I don't see people doing that when it comes to credit cards. Well, not too much until like a hurricane hits or a tornado or some other disaster comes. Um, that's when people want to start taking out money. God forbid you prepare in advance. But um, when I'm looking at these coins, I'm looking at cryptocurrencies, I don't worry about the altcoins. I don't worry about the shit coins. And the shit coins are the ones like all the way down here that are doing whatever the hell. Um, I don't worry about those. I focus mainly on the top 10 coins, top 15 at the most. Uh, I, the only coins I focus on are Stellar, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, what is it, Cardano, you know, so... That's it, and that's where I can make my money. That's where I can actually find the most value. These are the coins that I would hold for a long period of time. Now, that doesn't mean that they won't, you know, disappear up and disappear or something like that, but these are the less likely ones to do it. They've been around so long, and they have maturity in terms of their um, their development team and also in their product that they're producing. Um, well, that's pretty much it, uh, if, as, as always. You know, if you're not taking what I say with a grain of salt, then you're low on sodium. Uh, but thank you, as always, for listening. Appreciate it.